Hey guys, MD Prepper here on part 5 of the Dollar Tree 72 hour prepping survival kit. This time we're going to talk about cover. Uh, cover can mean a lot of things. It can mean just shelter, sleeping bags, the warmth of the clothing you have on you. Well, Dollar Tree does not have a heck of a lot in the clothing department other than socks and gloves, that sort of thing. We may talk about those as additional accessories after the fact, but cover, I'm going to consider that basically tent, tarp, poncho, shelter, those types of things. So, basically, we're pretty limited here, guys. Uh, the number one thing that stood out at Dollar Tree was the uh, drop cloth for painting, that sort of thing. It is 0.7 millimeters thick, and it's 9 foot by 12 foot. Um, I think this is the best option overall for a buck. Uh, is it the most sturdy in the world? No, but is it sturdy enough? Yes. Um, I bought two of these, maybe a third. I'm going to wait for you guys' uh, feedback on that. But basically, you could lay one of these down as your ground cover. You know, maybe throw some leaves over the top of that for some padding, something like that. Just depends on if you have a blanket with you, whatever type of extra gear. But anyway, this will keep the wetness from the ground off of you. The second one here, you could fashion a tarp tent type setup above you to keep the rain off of you. Uh, you could also use the tarp above you as a rain catch. Uh, this would make a tremendous rain catch using the uh, various containers we're going to talk about later. Containers aren't this video, but anyway, uh, anything coming out of the you know out of the sky and down this little plastic tarp slash drop cloth is going to be drinkable pretty much, um, unless it's nuclear fallout, something like that, in which case you're all screwed. Um, so either way, ground cover overhead cover from storms and all that sort of thing. There's ways to secure this and whatnot with my various types of cordage. We've not gotten to cordage yet. We'll talk about that later. Uh, we're talking about cover right now. So two of these is decent. Uh, a third one might be necessary, but let me know what you think about that. Now, next item I picked up, and don't know if this is the best idea or not, just picked it up. Again, it was a buck, was this. Um, tablecloth. Uh, cheap vinyl tablecloth on the top side with flannel on the other side, the flip side. So, not the biggest in the world. It's, what is it, 52 inches by 70 inches, so that works out to be 4.3 feet by 5.8 feet, basically. So, nowhere near as large as this. So, this would not make the best tarp covering up across the board, but could you use it as a signaling option? You know, bright orange, they had them on other colors, but I figured the bright orange would be a great option. Uh, you could write on it for help, SOS, that type of stuff. Um, a flannel lining and all that, you could wrap this around yourself if you had to for warmth. Now, this is not going to be as great as a blanket or anything like that, but I did not find any $1 blankets or anything else like that. I, fa I found some um, floor mats, that type of stuff, for a buck. Hand cloths, hand towels, that sort of thing. But nothing of any substance for a dollar that you had to work on and maybe stitch together. So I got this. Uh, if I had to wrap this around myself, would it provide a little bit of warmth? Yeah. Uh, flannel side on the inside to hopefully keep some of the warmth. Plastic on the outside to repel some of the water. Uh, maybe. Uh, you could use this. I don't know how tremendous this is. Just give me your thoughts on that. So this may or may not stay in the kit. Now these are all about the same size. They will fit into that secure it plastic bag, reinforced plastic bag, if you will. If these things happen to be wet, you know, your ground tarp, your tent tarp, if you will, and your cover, if you will, warmth, what have you, something to wrap yourself up in to retain a little bit of heat. Uh, if these things turn out wet, I can put them in that third bag that I use for carrying water, and we're going to be good. Not going to contaminate the rest of our kit. Now, trash bags. Uh, they didn't have any heavy-duty drum liners at at least the Dollar Tree that I checked out. They had these jumbo trash and lawn bags. These are 39 gallon, not the 50 gallon I was looking for, 55. Uh, the size on them, they are 2 feet 8 inches by 3 feet 8 inches. These are short and squat. Here's the picture right there. So, these are not big enough to, in my opinion, be used as a sleeping bag, something like that. I guess you could function something for your lower body, but it's probably not going to do the trick, guys. Uh, they did not have anything the bigger size to use as a uh, makeshift sleeping bag, so I was not happy about that. But I picked these up anyway, because I could not find a poncho for a buck, which I thought was kind of odd. Maybe it's just my store, maybe they don't stock them, but I figured a buck for a poncho, they'd have some kind of rain poncho, something like that. But either way, you could 
fashion this into an upper poncho, you know, slice a hole in it and all that stuff for your head and two holes for your arms, it's going to be okay. If you slash it right, you can make, or cut a hole in it, you can make a little poncho hood at the top for your head to pull over and arms out the side, etc. Uh, five bags for a buck, not the best deal in the world, but hey, we're doing the Dollar Tree Challenge here, so picked up anyway. Uh, could you fashion some form of lower legging type contraction with, contraption rather, with cutting some holes out the bottom, pulling it up over your waist and cinching it around? Yeah, maybe. Um, it's not going to be any kind of gators or anything like that, waders or anything, but maybe, maybe. This is all I found. I did not look around at my second area store. This is all I found. The short squat, 39 gallons. Uh, could be used for containing things, holding things. Uh, lots of options for trash bags. I think we probably need some trash bags in the kit. Obviously, not this big. But uh, let me know what you think. You know, how many of these five bags do I need to carry with me? Obviously, one for a poncho. Maybe another one for a, a backup, that sort of thing. But don't know if I need them all. Anyway, this is all I found for shelter and cover, for basic cover at... Dollar Tree. If you know of anything else in your local stores, please let me know. And again, I'm going to keep looking around here, you know, my local store, see if I find anything else interesting or neat. Uh, may do additions to this video, maybe a version 1.5, something like that. Anyway, ND Prepper out on the Dollar Tree 72 hour kit for cover. ND Prepper out.